We're here with Cassie Dieter of the Victorious Wesley Women's <laughs> Lacrosse team. Kind of a nail biter, 19 to 18 over Wells on St. Patty's Day. You had the game tying goal. You kind of stole the ball and then took the ball all the way to Crease. <laughs> So, you know, what was going through your head when, you know, we stole the ball and kind of were running down to make sure? I just got a lot of excitement and, like, build up. I was like, we really need to get this goal now. Like, we really need to tie it, like, so we can bring up everybody's energy and just keep playing hard till the very end. So, you scored four goals today, three assists. You were kind of all over the place on defense as well. Mm -hmm. You caused, I believe, four turnovers on defense. So, how important is that in the grand scheme of things for the team win? Um... I think it's pretty important. I mean, as long as we're getting turnovers and getting a good transition down to the field and just keeping the ball, not just necessarily throwing it away for the first pass we see, just continuing to play and wait for that right time. So Thursday wasn't the result you guys wanted. No. And Sunday, now today, you guys got to win, like I said, a nail biter. What are you guys going to do to keep this momentum going for Wednesday? Um, we just need to keep up the hard work and keep the momentum from this game going into the rest of this week as well as the rest of the season and just keep our heads up. Good job, Cassie, and Thank congrats you. on today's win. Thank you. Now being joined by today's game winner, Bree Bacon. You scored the free position goal to win the game. What was going through your head when you were standing on at New York? Um, I was just thinking about my team first. Um, just accuracy, making sure that it was the right shot and not just forcing it. Um, it was we had only a minute left, so I was just thinking about going right to goal. So, okay, so you guys had to battle back in the first half to take the lead to half. Then Wells came back to take the lead again in the second half. What, what was going through your head? You know making sure you guys battled back to win the game, uh, you know, obviously with your game winner. Um, definitely. It was pretty hard, um, just goal after goal, and I know it got on some of us, so we just needed a moment to get out of our heads. It's not about the goal that they scored right now. We still have an extra 30 minutes. Um, just keeping our head up and just playing to the last, uh, last whistle. All right. So, once again, congratulations on the game winner. Thank but you. what are you guys going to do to keep the momentum going on Wednesday? Uh, we just got to keep paying. Keep preparing, fighting hard, and doing what we do in practice every day. Good job, Bacon, and congrats on the game winner. Thank you. Now being joined by head coach Jillian Lantz. Coach Lantz, that was a little bit nerve-wracking game, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, absolutely, but the girls fought hard. Um, we were down early. We were able to come back and tie it up and then take a lead. And then Wells came back and really challenged us, but we were able to pull it out in the end. So Cassie tied it up uh, with kind of a breakaway steal. Yes. Bree Bacon got the game winning goal in a free position. Mm -hmm. What'd you tell your girls after, you know, Bacon got the goal, so about a minute and a half left, what was go going through your head during that time? We were talking about playing quality lacrosse. We wanted to make sure that we were playing our game, staying composed, and making sure we really used the clock. So, five wins in the past six games. Yes. Obviously not the result you wanted against Lycoma in uh, last game, mm -hmm. but you can't come back, get the win today, what do you guys got to do to uh, keep your momentum going against Goucher on Wednesday? Again, it's all about just refocusing and making sure that we're playing our level of lacrosse, um, making sure that we're looking for our further opportunities, making sure we're aware of the clock, and not rushing things just because we get excited or because of the fan excitement.